we have an amazing disaster going on in the world today. I came from a heavy sugar diabetic background. My male cousins had all died when they were in their 50s, and I knew I had to do something, otherwise I would be lying in the casket like they did with this dreadful disease. There's probably 300 million people who have diabetes. One person dies of diabetes every 10 seconds. It's a major pandemic. What's wrong with that picture? We need to go beyond the traditional definition of diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a degenerative aging process that is a result of a hormonal imbalance between leptin and insulin imbalance, a metabolic dysregulation, a generalized inflammation. It also involves a genetic and epigenetic dysregulation. I had to design a diet and lifestyle that would address all those things. Otherwise, we're really not addressing diabetes. This is a year-long program. It's got a 21-day intensive, but we have a nursing follow-up, and I have an internet TV show for diabetics exclusively once a month. It's not actually the blood sugar that kills you. It's actually the effect of all of that sugar and its toxicity in the body. It's like, how long do you want to live? I mean, <laughs> before something breaks down as a secondary consequence of the diabetes. I was diagnosed five years ago when I was 19 years old as a sophomore in college. My doctor told me I could eat whatever I wanted and just, just give myself a little insulin. Okay, there's my insulin pump. She said, you know, your life doesn't have to change. You can eat whatever you want. You just now have to give yourself insulin for it. That was how I managed my diabetes for the past five years. Diabetes is not about blood sugar. How do you have a diagnosis that's about blood sugar? That's a symptom. Before we can even address the problem, we have to address the cause. The main thing is to create a lifestyle for yourself that pulls you out of insulin resistance, which is really what we're doing in our program. Hurts about the Tree of Life last year they had a special diabetes program. So naturally I got on the web and made phone calls and the next thing I know I was here not knowing what to expect. I was at the maximum level of the metformin. I, the next step would be to be shooting up insulin. I wanted to avoid that at all costs. I had fibromyalgia, arthritis, thyroid condition, and very bad uh, arthritic knees. I could hardly really get around very well. The first week was fabulous classes and fasting. I did felt so good fasting on the little green juice. Our stats were so low. Mine got down, uh, I think, the first week to 66, 67, 71. Every morning, waking up with those beautiful figures, I'm like, why doesn't everybody do this? I mean, wow, look at this. No meds, and here are these wonderful figures. Green juice, yum, yum, yum. So I'm on day two of the fast. I can already tell my body is just completely detoxing. Emotionally and physically, I've cut my slow drip that, of insulin that's always going in, in half, and I'm not giving myself insulin for the juices. So my body's adjusting and I'm trying to breathe through it and because you don't know entirely what's going on. It's certainly scary at times. I trust that it's gonna work and I feel good. You want, you want the oxy baths? When I first came in here, my typical that morning fasting numbers like 140 or 145. After eating your food for a day, even before we started the fast, my number was down to like 135, 130. I mean, I'm having numbers that I've never had before. And I couldn't get the kinds of explanations, and I'm a scientist, about the phenomenology of the disease that I'm getting from Dr. Cousins, from even the endocrinologist that I visited. I, I actually didn't know whether I was a type one or a type two and it turns out I'm a type 2. So I don't know where this is going, so this is like day 3. You know, 
I'll let you know what happens. Um, we are doing blood pressure checks right now um, as a part of the daily maintenance for the diabetic guests. So every morning we do intakes like fasting blood sugar and just check in and see how everybody's doing. Between 50 and 60 percent of uh, diabetics have high blood pressure. What we're seeing here is here are the diabetics and also non-diabetics who are fasting. Everybody's blood pressure is coming has come into normal by day seven. There's actually a resetting of the genetic expression. That's really why it, it happens. And so we see people stay in these normal ranges very consistently. So it's it's really exciting. But it's what it does because you clear the toxins, system relaxes. How much is it? Uh, 24 at 9 and as needed in the day. And now you're, it's one week and you're already off. Everything. I'm taking nothing. And your blood sugar's uh, a little bit above 100. Off it is. Up. It is. Great. It's pretty impressive. Very impressive. We don't make diagnosis off this. I just get a picture. So you'll see your blood in just a second. I'm looking for a variety of things. So we're going to look over here. These are your red blood cells. I see. So Part of this emanation, as I've merged, science, body, and mind, and spirit, has been a 21-day healing cycle, three. where we teach three basic courses, which all have the same theme. We have the spiritual fasting. We have the zero point, which is so people can get rid of their habits and their addictions that keep them in dysfunctional eating patterns. It happens in Zero Point. Zero Point was wonderful, uh, and I, I had no clue what to expect, and Gabriel took us through it, and the visualizations, and opening yourself up to just allow things to come to you and release them. The second that I got it, it was just, I wanted to do another one, and then I wanted to do another one. We add the Conscious Eating Course to empower people create a super healthy diet, 100% plant source only, live food or uncooked diet. Is that colorful and gorgeous? For me, the Conscious Eating Program was key. I used what I found out every single day of my life. It was a roadmap for me to know things to stay away from, things to go towards, trying to make the food pleasing to look at and exciting. The cafe here at the Tree of Life produces the best food I've ever had. about having the guests here is you see them transform but then after a few days of juice and then a few more days of raw food you see a whole different light come out of them and that's what we know we're doing in the cafe because eating vegan eating raw brings you that energy that's a that's alive in the food I'm 56 years old and I've never done anything like this before now that the fast is over and we're just continuing on a phase one diet that I can maintain this and that I can heal there is a cure for diabetes then this is it people find you know dramatic results in their blood sugars coming to normal and that's just the beginning of it your autoleptin resistance, autoinsulin resistance, everything is healed and you no longer have diabetes. You also had pretty severe arthritis, particularly in your knees. You had fibromyalgia, which was actually making you quite uncomfortable and miserable. And you had some Lyme's disease. Now you're seven years old and you're pain free. How many people you know can claim that? I uh, have very few. Yeah. And I work sometimes 12 hours straight, yeah, which good. shocks everybody. She's healed. And she's in normal physiology, healthy, happy, almost uh, completely pain-free with her arthritis and no fibromyalgia and completely normal blood sugars. So she's done with diabetes. I was committed and that's why it worked so well for me. But I had to know what the tools were. I had not a clue. It doesn't matter what age. 
If you're just willing to follow the diet, be part of the program. The one year support system that they have in place is phenomenal. It's always a happy moment when I can talk to the nurse because she's so supportive. I'm such a linear person. I'm such a linear person. It is official and it is. You know, I came into here not knowing what to expect and so overwhelmed and just nervous. And I am leaving here without a doubt. Absolutely reversible. I am healed and I am healthy and it's wonderful. Coming off the fast, I, I just had a real realization that this could be done by my people and by everybody that has this terrible, debilitating disease. It keeps you from doing a lot of things. It's like I've been given a new gift of life and diabetes free. I'm from without diabetes. I think Gabriel is a tremendous man. He knows more about diabetes than anybody I've encountered. You know, bringing the love into this world and uh, chosen everything that he does and in the way that we were treated. These programs are so well put together that really just going through a fasting week, a zero point week, a conscious eating week is an incredible experience on its own. But having the time with Gabriel during each of those moments is really another gift. Whatever question you have, whatever it is you want to know, whether it's the nutritional value of this or a spiritual question that's on your heart. The diabetes program here at the tree gave me my life back. People have choices and we're saying there is a choice. That's really what we're saying. But you have to be willing to change your life. You have to be willing to love yourself enough to heal yourself. Those are the people who really do well in this program.